So let's see how to fix this problem. Cast to device functionality is not working in Windows 10. So let's move to the first method. Just click on start button. Click on this gear shift icon. And now click on network and internet. And now in the right side, just click on network and settings center. Now click on change advanced setting settings. And now make sure this turn on network discovery and also turn on file and printer sharing. Both are on. Okay. Also, if you are on a public network, you should turn both of this on also. Okay. After that, click on save changes and try again and your problem will be fixed. If this does not fix your issue, let's move to method two. Just search Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall to open it. Now click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on Change Settings. And now scroll down and here we will find Cast to Device functionality. Make sure this is checked. Okay. Make sure this is checked. And both public and private options is checked. After that, click on OK. Now, if this also does not work, let's move to method three. Just search services in Windows 10 search box. Now click on services to open service manager window. Now you have to find these services. Okay. DNS client, function discovery, resource publication, SSDP discovery, and UAP and P device host. And these are, these are the settings of those startup settings automatic triggered this should be manual this should be manual and this should be manual and they must be running so let's first find dns client double click on it and make sure the startup type is automatic since this cannot be changed let's move to another thing function discovery resource publication double click on it Make sure this startup type is manual as said in the file. Also make sure it is running. If it is not running, click on start. Similarly, find SSDP discovery. Double click on it. Make sure this is manual and this is running. Click on start if it is not running. And similarly, UPNP device host. Double click on it. Make sure it is manual and it is running. Also, you have to click on dependency for each of uh, those tabs and see if there are any uh, new services which are dependent on these services. So they should also be running. So in this case, if I click on UPDNP, the SSDP discovery, this is already in the list. If I find the SSDP discovery, double click on it and click on dependency, then there is network store interface service. Okay. So just find it, network store interface service. Double click on it and make sure it is running. If it is not running, click on start. Similarly, uh, find DNS client, okay? And see if there are if there is any dependency. Network store interface service, okay? So start it. Also find function discovery, resource publication. Click on dependency and here is function discovery provider host and remote procedure call. Okay, so find those two services, remote procedure call, and make sure that this uh, is running or not. In this way, uh, if all the settings has been done, and try again, and the problem will be fixed. That's it guys, please do like the video to support